so much time thinking and writing descriptive, beautiful answers in the initial time, initial uh, period, thinking that this will offset for the period that I uh, offset for the questions that I leave at the end. So that clearly didn't work out, and I am a, a fool to realize this after four years and four attempts. So please don't make that mistake. That I made that mistake. Yeah, as I hmm. said, I used to think examiner will look for something very sophisticated, very some taken from some research paper. Mm -hmm. No, it's, but it's always be doing that basic fundamentals right that will get give a good marks. So point I want to make is, it is very important that you should learn from your failures. So don't be overwhelmed by the syllabus. When you start start writing answers, as I said, it will be a very bad answer. I, I can assure you that. But it's important that you write those answers. Only then you keep consistently improving. And these failures and these struggles will definitely be part of your journey, whether you do it in your first attempt or fifth attempt like me. Another important thing I want to remind uh, aspirants is the importance of revision. No matter how many books you read, it's very important that you revise just before the exam so that uh, you remember uh, you remember facts well and will be able to perform better in the examination. So, I uh, just want to clarify that I, my, I had finished my training in this attempt. I am a 2014 batch IRS, so I am working in the field since the past two years. Uh, for me, when I decided to give this attempt, after skipping 2016, that when I decided to give this attempt, I knew what I had to face, that definitely I cannot quit my job, nor I can go on an extraordinary leave completely without pay leave. So I had accepted the limitations. So for people working with jobs, the first thing you have to erase is that inferiority complex. Then the success that you get is not proportional to the number of hours you put in your at your study table. It does not mean that somebody who is studying for 12 hours will anyway perform better than somebody who is studying for 4 hours. So erase that inferiority complex. Once you do that, then it becomes a matter of robotic planning, like without any emotion. Like I, I used to do, okay, I get three and a half hours on a work day. On weekdays, I get around 12 to 14 hours. I, I used to club those hours and after a week, these are the number of hours I used to have and these are the topics that I have. So how many hours I would give for each topic. That was the only thing I did. And I never thought the preparation was perfect or anything. But what my success should suggest is that if you do as per your plan, if you stick to your plans, if you do it perfectly in a focused manner, definitely you can achieve success. In my journey of like for the past five, five and a half years, I have had exams where I had tests where I had written and I got 50 out of 250. And there were exams, of course, I got 150 out of 250. But when I look back, I think the exams where I got 50 out of 250 played a much more important role than where I got 150 out of 250. Because they tell you that what mistakes you are doing, where the deficiencies in your preparation, and that's how you improve consistently. The competition is always with your, the person that you were yesterday, rather not with the 10 lakh aspirants who are giving this exam. So always bear that in mind.